Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. I'm about to hit some of the usual spots today to see what kind of fun stuff there is uh, that came out today. I believe The Destroyer, starring Nicole Kidman, came out today on Blu ray, along with Alien. Uh, the, the original Alien film is being released, I believe, on 4K and may have a steel book uh, out there today. But uh, I'm also going to have some DVD and Blu ray reviews at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys haven't seen it yet, check out my last video I uploaded uh, this past weekend where me and my friend Aaron went to this really cool, trippy, uh, you know, 60s-ish uh, experience in downtown LA. If you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. I don't think, you know, YouTube put it in your guys' uh, subscription boxes uh, this past weekend. My YouTube might have had like a glitch going on or something. But make sure you guys check it out. I have a link for it down below. If you guys love trippy, cool little, like, you know, out and about videos, I think you guys will get a kick out of it. But uh, let's head on out right now. And well, guys, the first stop of the day is the local Target. Let's head on in there and see if they have any exclusives for the new Alien 4K uh, that you know that's hitting hitting the streets today. And man, it feels like it's like the first day of summer or something because it's like really kind of musty and hot out today. Not digging it. Not digging it. Not a summer person. Well, guys, over here in the movie section right now, and it doesn't look like they. Uh, or at least this Target's put out their their stuff uh, this week so far. They still have their, you know, Aquaman, uh, you know, exclusive steel books and a handful of more of the glass ones over here. They had they have more now than they did last week, but it doesn't look like they put out any of their uh, you know, new releases as I as I can see right here. But hopefully the other spots that I go to today uh, do they do have, you know, uh, replicas right here from last week, which I'll be talking about at the end of this uh, video in the review portion. It wasn't that bad, and I just recently found out that uh, Warner Brothers is going to be putting out, like, an extended edition of A Star is Born on, uh, on Blu-ray in the next a few months with, like, 12 minutes of uh, added footage or something like that. I just got an email about that earlier if you, for, you, for your fans of the film that didn't know that. In a few months, uh, it's coming out in an extended edition. And another movie that was being released today, you know, again on Blu-ray, was a uh, 16 candles this is the you know target you know blu-ray ex exclusive you know vhs cover but uh, it doesn't look like they have the the new edition that you know was released today hopefully the next spot i go to does I, i've always loved you know my john hughes movie 16 candles breakfast club being you know uh two of my favorite ones but uh I'm not really seeing much over here. They haven't put anything out yet. But I do love how Target has their own little NECA figures. Oh, you know, the NECA figures in their, you know, back of the store. Like the old school, you know, Jason ones from Friday the 13th. And like Jason lives down here. And of course the ho new Halloween Michael Myers figures. I think that's cool that they're, they're carrying them, you know, in, the, in their stores. Of course they have like gremlins and different things. I may have opportunity to meet uh, Joe Dante again uh, in the next few months at uh, Dark Delicacies. He's going to be doing a signing. Uh, for I believe Piranha, there's gonna be coming out with, in a new steel book. So hopefully I'll be able to talk to Joe Dante for the you know for upcoming video. But you never know. But he does make some great great movies. Well, guys, at our next destination of the day, the local Best Buy. Let's head on in there and hopefully they put actually put out their stuff on like Target this week. Well, guys, in Best Buy right now, and it looks like they put out the you know Cap uh, Captain America Civil War on 4K and steel book right here. I believe this is a new one. It was either this one or this one. I'm, I'm getting confused now uh, that that were released on you know 4k steelbook you know of course the new Avengers Endgame is a uh, hit in theaters uh, this weekend and my friend Frankie right now is at the El Capitan theater like watching the epic mar marathon watching all the movies back to back to back before Endgame starts and of course this is the new alien uh, 40th anniversary uh, Best Buy ex exclusive steelbook right here which looks like it's, yeah, it's the 4k but I kind of like the cover to this one right here this is one of those movies that's been released so many times i have on so many different editions it's it's, it's not it's not even funny i might have i might wait on the uh <laughs> to upgrade on 4k maybe but this the steel book is kind of cool though with the egg on it and everything but another one of the main ones that uh you know came out today was escape room which i saw in theaters and thought was pretty decent i don't know if it's one of those ones i need to get up on and own really but it, i thought it was kind of fun r rental wise if you guys you know can get that up for rent but you know what? I'm, I'm still thinking about this. All right, guys, now I'm in the actual Best Buy section. And another one that came out today for the first time on 4K is The Witch uh, right here. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of this movie. I tried to get into it, but I just really, 
really couldn't, but that's another one uh, from Lionsgate that uh, came out today. Not the biggest, uh, you know, release week, you know, whatsoever when it comes to physical media. These are pretty much the only two, you know, main ones uh, that hit stores. I'm ha I just have this in my hand. I'm really thinking about it, but I don't know. <laughs> it's not the greatest week, but... This movie is amazing, even though I like Aliens a little bit more than this one. But guys, how many of you out there are excited to see uh, Avengers Endgame this weekend? I may or may not uh, be going to see it because I have this event on Saturday because it's the only day off I'm, I'm off this weekend. I may see it this Saturday, but I may also have a small chance to meet uh, Mara Wilson, uh, you know, from Matilda and Miracle on 34th Street uh, this weekend. So I may take a chance on that instead of seeing uh, Avengers Endgame this weekend. And plus it's probably gonna be crazy packed uh, in the theater and I'm not trying to be all like squeezed in next to some you know you know s s smelly person that probably doesn't shower and stuff that happens when there's like a lot of people out like at conventions and different things too when there's like a mass amount of people it seems like I always sit next to the, the stinky person but hey whatever but I keep your fingers crossed if I do get a chance to meet or maybe even talk to uh, Mara Wilson this weekend because if I do I'll definitely, you know, try to make a video out of it if she is down to be a part of it. But, uh, who knows? Keep your fingers crossed, but I'm gonna be getting on out of here. I may get something. I may not. Well, guys, I'm at my final stop of the day, the local Goodwill. I don't know how good you can hear me right now because it's windy as hell. But let's get into this Goodwill and see what they got. Alright, guys, just got to the media section over here at the Goodwill. Haven't been to this Goodwill in a little while now. So I'm just going to search through here like I always say and see if I come across anything rare or unusual in here. Great movie. If you guys have never seen it, blow. It feels light in there. Is, it, is the disc even in here? I already own it, but okay, cool. It felt light, but it is. It's there. But I'm going to see if I can find anything, you know, cool or, you know, out of the ordinary that, you know, may be kind of cool to pick up or get. Like, see, something like this is, is like a little, like... A little off like you don't normally see this, something like this in a, in a place like you know goodwill you know that often but i'm gonna look through here and i'll get back to you in a second if i find anything cool yeah like i'm still over here just looking around and it looks like they have that old edition of uh you know uh, american gangster i believe i remember this one coming out when i was working in blockbuster that like you know came in this like little like bookie sort of like case thing it was like a like a big special edition at the time and uh it was like a big three a three disc one i always thought this set looked cool as shit you know back in the day and this one for 2.99 is not bad i believe i own the blu-ray of that if i'm not mistaken and they also have this is common as hell but the american pie movies the one and two and the double feature you know the dvd pack uh you know from back in the day in here i think that's from like the same era as that uh you know american gangster but yeah as you can tell it's just a lot of like the same you know kind of you know, stuff that you can see everywhere, like weird Twilight stuff or like a bootleg of Saw and like a real, real thin pack, you know, kind of thing. Yep, it's a bootleg. There's not even, you know, discard or even a title on the, on the thing over here. But this one right here was a fun, a fun family movie. This one was actually written, uh, you know, uh, by Adam Rifkin, who you guys all know from um, Detroit Rock City and uh, Chillerama and stuff like that. That, that. that one was always cool. But yeah, just a lot of the same old, you know, same old that I'm seeing, you know, in this one today. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But yeah, nothing really stands, nothing's really standing out to me that I need to, like, you know, jump on. So, uh, today's video looks like it's going to be another one of those ones where I don't buy anything. Even though I, I was thinking about really getting up on that uh, Alien uh, 4K today. But, like, it's, I just have a feeling it's going to be one of those ones I'm going to buy and it's going to sit on, sit on my shelf for a long time before I even... You know, before I open it and watch it and stuff, and I don't want to like keep doing that. You know what I mean? I'll get it when I when I'm ready to watch it again. You know what I mean? I think I still have the Alien uh, Blu-ray set, you know, quadrilogy set, and I don't think I even opened that one yet either. So like, why would I need to jump on the 4K one? I need to just like slow down and be real selective on you know what I get. You know what I mean? I probably should just get this and go home, you know what I mean? But uh, other than that, guys, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this hoarding portion of the video or supposedly hoarding because I didn't really find anything today. But I did find some stuff la the last couple weeks. But let's go on home now for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. 
All right, guys, now on to the review portion of this video right here. I have a small stack of things I actually watched and I'm going to be talking to you guys about today. Uh, the first two up here are from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. And this one right here is from the same director as Bone Tomahawk and uh, Brawl and, uh, you know, Cell Block 99, I believe. And that is a movie called Dragged Across, uh, Dragged Across Concrete. Uh, this is, um, of course, starring Vince Vaughn and Mel Gibson. Uh, they, they play uh, two cops. Uh, that get you know get suspended uh, from their jobs for being a little bit you know over uh, you know overzealous or just a little bit crazy you know during during one of their busts and uh, it, it pretty much takes them uh, when they get suspended to try to figure out you know one what they're gonna do two they're still cops and they want to take out some of these bad guys so they ended up they end up going like undercover when they're suspended or not really supposed to and like you know trying to find you know these bad guys. Uh, this, this this storytelling, you know, of, of this film was just very very well done. Cause a lot of movies these days, they I don't know, they they lack they they lack the passion, be, you know, like that this movie has. And uh, like a lot of movies, like I said, these days that I watch, I'm just not really that super impressed with. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm like eh, okay, you know, generic. Like this one's like this like fucking riddled with. You know, originality and everything here. You also get, uh, what was her name, Jennifer Carpenter uh, in here for a little while. And I love how they brought her character in, uh, you know, into the movie. I just, I just love how the, the storytelling was uh, told, you know, in, in this movie. Like I said, it follows these, you know, two uh, cops that are suspended. And, you know, they're trying to, you know, take out these evil bad guys that are going around killing people, robbing banks, you know, all sorts of stuff. And I thought it was just very, very well uh, directed, nicely acted in here by pretty much the entire cast. We also get Michael Jai White in here, also known as Spawn, uh, up in the house. But if you guys love, you know, uh, you know, crime movies, you guys would get it. You guys would really, really enjoy this film. I really did too. I wish I can um, exude, or uh, I, I don't have like the biggest vocabulary in the world, but. I, I was, when I watched this movie, I was just really enthralled uh, throughout the, the whole film. I just don't have, like, the biggest vocabulary, so I can't, like, express what I'm trying to get across here. But I love this movie. Uh, in this, on this Blu-ray, you get uh, three uh, featurettes making of the film. Uh, so if you guys want to see what this movie's about, definitely look up the trailer. Highly, highly recommend this movie. I dig it. And I wasn't even the biggest fan of the other, the other director's work so far, like the Bone Tomahawk and stuff. I mean, they were fine movies. But like this one right here, man, this one takes the cake. But uh, next up over here from Lionsgate is a film starring Keanu Reeves, and that is uh, Replicas uh, here on uh, Blu-ray, DVD, uh, digital copy combo pack right here. And uh, it's pretty much about Keanu Reeves' character who's like a scientist who is trying to like, um, you know, replicate, you know, people's um, like minds and like, you know, transfer them into robots and things. And um you know, you know what I mean? Like someone, someone just recently dies, and he, he's like a, you know, a, you know, a scientist that can like try to do that. And uh, in the meantime, one night as he's uh, driving home with his family, uh, he gets in a big car wreck, and his his whole, his whole family dies. And it's pretty much him trying to, you know, clone their memories and, and thoughts, and try to, you know, clone clone his family to try to make sure his family is there with him. And uh, Things kind of go awry uh, in the meantime. Uh, a lot of people were shit-talking this movie, and it, it is one of those, like, you know, just kind of throwaway kind of, you know, popcorn flicks. But the thing is, I really like Keanu Reeves ever since, you know, like, Speed and, you know, Bill and Ted and everything. And uh, it's definitely not one of his better films, but I, 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 was, I enjoyed it when I was watching it. I don't know if it's one of those ones I'm going to go back and revisit over and over again or anything like that, but it was, it was enjoyable. The, some of the effects were, you know, not the greatest, you know, uh, in this movie, but all in all, it, 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 it's a decent, you know, uh, rental or whatever you would like to say if Blockbuster and Hollywood videos were still around. But uh, this Blu-ray right here has an audio commentary track by the director, making up special featurettes and some deleted scenes. It is worth it is worth watching if you like Keanu Reeves. I I, I, I dug it, you know, for what it was, but it's definitely not an amazing film. But uh, next up over here, I got from uh, Paramount Home Entertainment, and this is the movie I saw in theaters. And I know it's not an it's not an amazing movie, also, but I love movies like this, and I I can watch movies like this all day long and just shut my mind off and just have a good time, like. It's, these, this is one of those movies that 
uh, when you get home from like a long day of work, you can just pop it in and just have a good time with it. And that is uh, Taraji P. Henson and uh, Tracy Morgan in What Men Want. Uh, it's pretty much it's pretty much like uh, What Women Want, the Mel Gibson movie that came out back in like the early or early two thousands, late nineties. You know where uh, the guy can hear everything, all of what what all what women are thinking. But in this one, Taraji P. Henson plays this businesswoman. You know at this firm, a sports firm, and. Uh, she she wants to she she thinks she's gonna get the next big promotion but she doesn't and she wants to know what the hell why and then something happens to her and uh, you have to watch the movie to find out and now all of a sudden she can hear men's thoughts like walking down the street going ooh look at the booty on her or ooh the wife smell like she can she can you know hear all men's inner thoughts and it just shows her how she tries to you know bring that into her uh, you know her her work game I, I I like this one it's cheesy it's corny. But I, I, I really got a kick out of this one. Uh, we do get some uh, uh, outtakes of gag reel on here and some 10 deleted scenes. But if you love, you know, fun little, you know, you know comedy films, this one is, is, was, was pretty decent. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. I can't lie. And uh, next up over here I got from um, uh, MovieZing.com. This is, the, you know, the website where, you know, if you, if you order something, they burn it on the man for you and then send it out to you. Uh, this is also coming from uh, MRG Media Group. And this is a movie called uh, These Hopeless Savages. Uh, this one right here is about um, this one lonely guy uh, who, not lonely, he has a girlfriend and stuff. Uh, he, and he's also a musician that goes to parties and, like, you know, plays his guitar and, like, you know, sings to, like, little kids and stuff. It's kind of weird. But uh, he's, 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 he's just kind of, like, you know, beaten up with life. He's just kind of like, what? And, uh, he d and he ends up trying to propose to his girlfriend that he's been with for a while. And she sort of just says, no. And, uh... And around that same time, an old friend of his from like high school and college or whatever comes into town and uh, pretty much takes him on this, on, you know, on, on this, on this, you know, road trip journey. And you have to watch the movie to see how, it, you know, what happens and things. I thought it was decent. It was kind of an amateurish uh, kind of film with some of the sound and edit, you know, some of the, the, the filming work. But the thing is, you know, people have to start off somewhere uh, with, you know, with making a movie. And I, I appreciate the effort that these guys went through them to make this one. And uh, look up the trailer to this. If it, if it looks interesting to you, you def definitely give it a chance. Check out the trailer on YouTube. And uh, last but not least right here from MovieZing.com, also from CBS Home Video. Uh, that is uh, Jane the Virgin, the complete second season here on DVD. Uh, you get, of course, you know all the episodes of uh, season two. I believe they have all, all the way up to season four or five right now uh, You know, on the MovieZing website. And, uh, it's, you know, it's pretty much about this, you know, one girl played by Gina Rodriguez, uh, who, um, uh, you know, is, is, is a virgin. And uh, one day something happens at this doctor's office and uh, a semen sample gets transferred into her. And uh, you have to, you know, watch the show to find out what happens. But season two uh, picks up right where uh, season one left off. And uh, Jane, Jane's just had her baby and uh, someone just kidnapped her baby from the hospital just hours after it was born and you have to you know watch you know get to season two to find out what happened who took her or you know who took who took the kid and everything it, it, it's it's an enjoyable show it's kind of like a telenovela uh you know i mean like a soap opera ish kind of show but uh i i dig it i dig this one for what it was but i do like i do uh really like uh you know gina rodriguez i always had a crush on her since uh philly brown but uh, that's all I really have to show you guys and sh uh, talk to you guys about today. If you want to get this one, MovieZing.com. Uh, link should be down in the description box of this video. But thank you so much for coming by, supporting my videos, giving them a thumbs up. And if you guys, like I said, haven't seen it yet, check out my last video um, where me and Aaron go to this really cool uh, like 60s-ish exhibit. And, like, just explore it. It was like a big acid trip. Uh, this past weekend, I uploaded it. It seemed like YouTube didn't, like, put it in people's, you know, subscription boxes. Or you guys just didn't want to click on it or something. But definitely check it out. It was really, really fun. And, uh, I don't know, I, I really enjoyed myself. I, th I thought it was, like, a real trippy experience. But I'll have a link for it in the description box or a little annotation here on the screen somewhere. Make sure you guys check it out. And I'll see you guys all next time.